Hello, I'm Mighty Garcia, and as you can see, I will be grooming a Kerry Blue Terrier. Kerry Blue Terrier is a breed of Irish origin. They are strong, sturdy, muscular dogs and with its commonly known deep chest. I will be doing these very straight lines in order to enhance these features. Before the bath, what I'll be doing are the clippered areas which will be the ears and the throat. I use the Extron for ears and a blade at one millimeter. Now I will clipper the throat and the cheeks in reverse. Here we use the same blade as for the throat, profiling well the most sensitive areas. And now we'll go over to the bath. For Kerries that don't have this blue colour, but you want to achieve this colour so desired, we can use a shampoo called Blanc, that contains a pigment to highlight the colour. I'm now going to use the Arteros Artist Vitalising Shampoo, that will give me volume and texture to the coat. I'll leave it to take effect for two or three minutes, and then I'll rinse it off. I'm going to do more than one shampoo to make sure it's nice and clean to remove the remains of the dirt. Before I apply the shampoo, what I do is get a little bit in my hand, make up a lava and then apply it to the coat. I give a soft massage. In this second shampooing, you can see from the lava, when it's rinsed off, it's whiter and cleaner. And now we're going to leave it to take effect for two or three minutes. Once 
Once we've finished rinsing, I'll apply protein, which will give me softness and won't remove any volume from the coat. After, I'll apply keratin to soften and straighten the beard and fringe. And now I'm going to apply the keratin to the fringe, beard and goatee. It is important to leave in these products for a few minutes to get the best results. A very important part of the kerry is drying. First, what I use is the Artero towel to remove the excess water, and so will save time with the drying process. And it's almost dry. The face area is very annoying for them, so I'm going to towel dry as much as possible, most of the water, so it won't bother them so much. OK, now I'm going to use oxygen, a portable dryer, to remove the rest of the water. I'm going to use hot air to shape, fix and make volume on the leg zones. With the help of our double brush, which is very flexible, it allows me to brush in both directions and also gives me volume. And now I'm going to use this long and flexible brush to dry the body and so keeping the coat with a fleecy texture. I'm going to use Artero Mix on the body to leave that stripped texture. We lightly brush before cutting. I use these type of scissors, which are the 9-inch onyx, which enable me to work fast and give the Kerry silhouette. These are the chunkers, which allow me to join the flat areas and work on the wavy hair. To finish, I use the Excalibur Titan and get a good finish. For the blending and transition zones, I use the Pro 40 scissors. And the black scissors, I use them for detail and areas such as the feet. We'll prepare the coat before we begin cutting.
We come downward. Take the foot with these two fingers. We collect the hair around the foot. The hair that comes out between the pads we can cut. As we cut, I spray with water. I comb and I keep shaping the silhouette. We hold the foot and we cut everything that comes out between the pads. I'm now working with the Alp 16 scissor. Once we have joined the different areas and we have defined the lines, we polish off the finishing touches, defining with scissors. To finalise, I finish with the neck, uniting it into the body. I'm going to join the clippered areas with the longer haired areas. Taking a section and cutting.
And for the final touch, I use the flash that gives shine to the coat. Friends, I hope you've enjoyed our video. All the best from Artero.